weekend's warm temperatures giving us a preview of summer. With that, there's a lot of anticipation for how blue Lake Tahoe will appear. Always beautiful. Following two consecutive winters with above average snowpack, though. Well, zooplankton populations also play a role in the lake's clarity. Your reporter covering Placer County, Brady Halblob, getting answers on what gives Lake Tahoe its iconic blue hue. It has earned recognition as one of the nation's most pristine bodies of water. In the middle right there. And for longtime Tahoe yeah, residents Zach Dalmo and yeah, Valerie Del Russo, gazing out over the lake never gets old. Oh, it can't be beat. 10 10. I mean, <laughs> it's just a gem. People leave here and they always come back. But what makes the water so blue? Experts say underneath the surface, you have phytoplankton, which are plants, and zooplankton, which are animals. Both are tiny creatures, but vital to the lake's ecosystem. Zooplankton feed on phytoplankton and also each other, depending on their size. Sometimes uh, the phytoplankton, different, uh, different types of phytoplankton will flourish at different times, and that will also affect the color and clarity of the water. However, UC Davis professor and interim director for the Tahoe Environmental Research Center, Alexander Forrest, says that's only one piece to a much larger puzzle. It also depends on the amount of sediment that's the inorganic particles that are in the water. Dr. Forrest says it comes down to balance. The clarity and color of the lake is dictated by several factors, including snowmelt runoff, sediment carried down by streams, annual water temperatures, and their collective impact on the various species of phyto and zooplankton. We as scientists really need to understand how they all link together to understand how they control the clarity because clarity is part of it, but also the color. Last year, the lake was the clearest it's been in decades. Dr. Four says it boils down to the water quantity and quality of snow melt. Last year, they were both high. This year, the snow came in much later in the season, impacting the quality of the runoff. We are at the same water quantity but the quality is the water that's coming into the watershed is actually much warmer. Warmer water impacts zooplankton and phytoplankton growth. Sediment from the mountain and roads will also play a very big factor in the lake's clarity. So it is still too early to tell. Hoping for more clarity to continue. But for Zach and Valerie, the lake is already off to a good start. I think so, because I think just the, the weather, we've gotten a lot of good precipitation and everything, so it's been really helpful. Interesting, providing clarity to Tahoe's clarity. Tahoe's Environmental Research Center says it's going to be conducting its first official clarity test of the season in a couple of weeks.